What a, what a different playthrough this is turning out to be compared to Because I wanted something very different. I didn't want to... I played so much system song. I wanted to be the system for once. <laughs> Let's think about this cleverly. It feels obliged to make a movie channel. It needs to go to 2-3. 2-3 should be here, right? Yeah. Why are you stopping? Um, okay, clear. Got the variables loaded in. Okay, it's gonna execute it. Oh, it goes eh, it goes eh, it goes eh, it goes eh. Doesn't fix it though. Actually, there's a better way to do this, buddy. That's right, it's or. Why do, you, why do you keep going east? No, it's not. No, it's not. You're in, you're on row two. Zero, two, one, two. What the hell do you think's going on, buddy? <sighs> Can I just get a fucking variable view? I make the grid smaller? Benchmark performance. Lists. Ah! I love lists. Grow plants. <laughs> Random. Sunflowers. Sunflowers. <laughs> we'll look at that in a bit, buddy. We gotta take care of the pumpkins first. I need pumpkins. Don't you understand the vital importance of pumpkins? All right. So. Like, how does this not happen? Right? It, it can't be both. How? Like, what's going on here? Okay. Let's see. It's told to go to this. Papa, two, papa, two. See, this is why in a, in a, in a, in a, in a real environment, you get, like, the little thing that says, hey, buddy. Okay, let's let's make it simpler, right? I want you to go to one one. Okay, what if I want you to go to one two? Now it gets all confused. What if I want you to go to two one? Okay, so if it doesn't move in equal position, but how does it? I don't even know what's going on here. What if I just tell him to go to one zero? It will, it will still have the error, right? No, it's only if the X position movement is, is invoked, isn't it? No, it can do both. And it can do this. It can take one step, but the second it's expected to loop, I think it just crashes. No! It's only if it's expected to loop. Did I mistype something here? Did I make a typo? Is there a typo here somewhere? Go X, go Y. I always go go X, go Y. Just print everything. 
not and print everything. Not actually updating. But why not? Isn't there literally a function here that tells you to update that that stuff, buddy? Hold on, hold on. We need to be indented or the game thinks otherwise. Ah, I see. You don't actually take X. You you get it once, and then you just ignore it. Thanks, Java. <laughs> this. Okay, so when I was a uh, when I was learning in like like baby ass school, uh, this is exactly what happened with me in Java, and we had a long fist fight over it until eventually the teacher said, "You no, you can't do that in Java," and I was like, "Why can't I do it in Java?" Because Java likes to do it its own way, and Java says that's not possible. Like, Java's objects, you can't port them like that. And then I worked with C and C Sharp, and I was like, wow! The, the fucking engine doesn't just screw me over out of nowhere. Alright, I guess that's the case, then. Well, we gotta do this here, too. Now it should just be able to do any arbitrary movement. Okay, cool. Now that you work, I should just close you. Time to make a pumpkin. How do we make a pumpkin? How does one pumpkin? Really? Well, simple. We gotta make a pumpkin. First off, the item manager needs a little bit of extra work involved. It needs to buy some. Oh, it's already buying pumpkin seeds. That's pretty cool. Pretty smart. That saffy guy. Pretty smart. That saffy guy. Pretty clever guy. Safi, why would you even have pumpkin time as a function when you can just activate pumpkin hill zone while you're there? Yabangus. We do that once, and then we should just follow this procedure. Right? Okay, so first things first. While, we'll while we are in pumpkin hill zone, we will iterate all the pumpkin squares and pumpkin hill. We must iterate it. We must define counting pumpkins. We are not smashing them, don't worry. Return. True. X is the amount of... Pumpkins? No, pumpkins. Dun, 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 dun. Pumping pumpkins is simple as that. We just need the pumpkin square. I mean, if I was clever, I would use a square root instead. No, no, that's not so clever, you fucking idiot. But when I can make a p factor. There. Now you're very intelligent, my man. Caramel dancing. What's this on Elsif? We are in the pumpkin zone. We need to count our pumpkins. How do we count pumpkins? How is pumpkin counted? Well, first we have this. It says zero. We have counted zero pumpkins. If... How do I how do I check what's below my butt? How do I see what's below my ass again? I don't know how I forgot. Dwan 
one. Thank you. Thank you, Dog. You made my life a little easier. If get entity type equals equals entities pumpkin. You must do the following. Count plus plus. Else. Plant. <gasps> plant. A pumpkin. That should work. I should be able to run this code on its own. As long as I define P square ahead of time. And after this, I probably just want to return. Let me just put that in there. All right, so how does it work? Is count plus plus even a thing? Clear. Oh, fuck you. I love plus plus. Can I do e plus equals? Please tell me I can do plus, e plus equals. You're so gross. Oh wait, no, that's this is I do that. Cool. Fair enough. I keep forgetting I kinda need to keep you around. Uh count plus equals one. Basically this is like saying count plus one or count equals count plus one. Is basically what we're doing here. That's the core idea. So this will go over all the squares. It will see if it see it will move. It will no, it moves after, but it checks if what it's on is a pumpkin. At some point, it needs to fuck off. It needs to say, enough is enough. But first, we need a while loop. How do we define the while loop? Well, Wilka. While, tra while Wilkins. Uh, while we are, where are we? We need the pumpkin factor. We need the pumpkin factor. The pumpkin factor is extremely important here. While we are. I can't. I need to update X here manually, right? Yeah, I need a manual X update. I can't do that in scope, can I? And I got a question. Move function. A bit of a simple one. Um, if I put X and Y in here, because this function really only exists here. You might say, oh, that sounds pretty clumsy, but I like it. I don't like this. This sounds awful. This is terrible. What are you thinking? What I really wanted to know is um, if I included the function. Oh, whatever. Irrelevant. Ow! While we are in the square, and we also need a function that checks if we're going above it. So while we are not done counting pumpkins. I mean, there is another way to do this. Right? There is another way to do this, which is not to rely on, on funny math and just do the math ahead of time. Fuck it, let's do the math ahead of time. Let's do a double while, baby. Let's get squared. While, the most obvious thing is the x position, because we're going to go vertically down up, which means the x position is the core determinant. While x is smaller than the p factor. Na, 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 na. Okay, so it will just iterate through that. Um, well, why? Oh no, but these are... So that's why I don't want to do that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Fine, I will play by your rules. I will play by your rules, my man. Um... You know what? If we're going to play by those rules, we might as well just fix all this. We might as well just fix all this. I mean, this... this. I'm going to change this. Just because it looks a bit nicer. If you want some curry, you can get it. While we are not in the P-factor. 
while we are not in the P factor. Now, when we are done with this, we want to move east. East, right? East is west. Uh, for simplicity's sake. This will help me keep track of stuff a little bit better. Makes it a bit more obvious where we are in the system. So, first, our first step, are we on top of a pumpkin? No? Well, then obviously we're not going to harvest any pumpkins. Actually, thinking about it, we need a, we need a variable for this. Because if we find no pumpkins, we're not harvesting. We are not harvesting these pumpkins. And then we harvest pumpkins. Oh, actually, what we're doing here is saying if then we go to zero. Actually, no, we should just do the go to zero in the count of pumpkins. When we're done, we just get out. We just go back home. If we do, then we harvest them. Actually, let's just call it check pumpkins, because that's technically what it's doing. It's checking my pumpkins. If we got dead pumps, if we got dead pumps, if we have dead pumps, we never, ever, ever, ever dead. That's nah, just called dead. If there are deads, ills, plant pumpkin. Also, dead equals true. At this point, we might as well not bother. Hmm. Well, we still need to plant pumpkins. So we're just going to keep doing this, I guess. So, so we're going to do it either way. It's just a shortcut, really. Yeah, it's just a shortcut. Let's, let's just keep it around. Let's just get rid of it. So we're going to count. We're going to go... Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Regardless of how this goes, at some point, we move north. However, um, if... Once we get to the end of the Y loop... Once we get to the end of the Y loop, where do we want to go? We want to go back to zero. We also want to stay in the same position. Okay, cool. Now we just do go to. We get the current X position because we want to stay in the same lane. But we also want to go to zero. So this should just bump us down to the bottom. Um, I want, I want to see if this actually works. It, it, the movement works the way it's supposed to. So what this should do is it should, uh, we just label one P factor and we'll just name it two. And if I did this correctly, ugh, what do you want? What do you want? Too much indentation. Get, get your head out of your indentation ass. Oh no, there's too much indentation. No! What the hell? 